Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a relaxing clean with me. So I don't know about you, but whenever I'm cleaning my house, sometimes I can get overwhelmed by all of the chores that I need to get done. So we're going to take it room by room and tackle each thing together. So if you need some cleaning motivation, you're in the right place. Go ahead and subscribe, like this video if you like cleaning routines, and let's get started. I like to start out with my least favorite chore and that is cleaning the bathroom. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sweep the floors. That way it's easier to clean once I'm done. Now I am doing more of a laid back cleaning routine. I'm not gonna be scrubbing my tile on the showers or anything. I'm just gonna get everything a little bit cleaner and tidier for the week. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean my toilets. So I'm grabbing my cleaning bucket that I keep in the closet in the bathroom, and we're going to disinfect the toilet and countertops with a Method anti-back spray. So you're just going to want to spray the surface and then let it sit for 10 minutes so it can fully disinfect and then you can wipe it down. I'm also going to use my Clorox toilet bowl wands. I love these. It makes cleaning the toilet so much easier. And if you guys are wondering where I get my cleaning products from, it's a mixture between Grove Collaborative and Amazon. And I have both of those linked down below. If you guys want to order from Grove, I have a link where you can get a free five piece set with Mrs. Meyers products. It's a great way to get all of your cleaning supplies in one place, but I do have things like the Clorox toilet wand on my Amazon store. So go check that out if you guys need to stock up. I know that a lot of stores right now are limited on their cleaning supplies, so those are both great options. So anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the countertops off, and I'm just using a paper towel because I can throw it away and it's a little bit more sanitary. So that's what I'm doing here. I also recommend using gloves because this product is pretty strong. And if you're like me and have eczema on your hands or just more sensitive skin, gloves are a must have. So now we're going to use the Sprayway cleaner that I have linked to Amazon for my mirrors. And I also like to use these on the faucets. It smells good and gets everything really shiny and clear. So once the bathroom is cleaned, I feel a little bit better and for the the final touches, I'm going to use my Caldrea Linen Spray in the Rosewater Driftwood Scent. I like spraying this on my towels and shower curtain, and then I always replace the little hand towel as well. I had a pretty cute little helper that wanted to help me clean as well, so I'm letting him dust off a few things, and it was the cutest thing ever. Now I'm gonna use my Chom Chom to get all of the dog hair and lint off of our comforter. I love this thing, it works so well if you guys have dogs or you just want something more efficient than a lint roller to clean off your surfaces, definitely check out the Chom Chom. I'm also going to clean off my full length mirror with that same Sprayway 
cleaner. I also like using the e-cloth glass cleaner occasionally, but I'd say probably every other week I will use the spray. It just smells so good and really does get the mirror nice and streak free. I'm also going to dust off the rest of the room, just all of the surfaces, and I'm using a Dollar Tree duster, but I did just get a Swiffer duster, so I will compare the two really soon and let you guys know which one I prefer, if the more expensive one is worth it, or if the Dollar Tree one works just fine. Now that the rest of the house is dusted, I'm going to take that same chom chom and get all of the dog hair and lint off of the couch. I like to do this usually about once a week just to make sure everything is nice and clean and no one is sitting on dog hair. And I'll show you guys how much it collects at the end. You guys won't even believe it. It picks up so much and I love that I can just dump it out. But there's something cold in the way you are The things you're saying Had me going good but it left a scar You invite me and then you turn me down Get my hopes up and then you're gone I fall for every word that you say to me So hard, being drawn to you so easily I am stuck in a loop of chemicals What's the point? Now that the house is smelling really good and getting somewhat close to being done, I'm heading into the kitchen. This is another area that I have to clean pretty much daily, but um, just the normal stuff. I'm going to unload the dishwasher, put all of the dishes away, and then reload the dishwasher. Since being at home and having more dishes to do, since we're cooking more, I've been using the dishwasher pretty often. So I try to fill it up throughout the day and then wash it at night and unload in the morning. And that's worked out pretty well for us. Told me just to give you time Weekends are passing by like everything is fine I know this is so delusional I have lost my grip But I don't want to be alone I keep looking at my phone But you never call me And then I see you on the street Said your heart just skipped a beat And that you miss me it's always the same story with you, but I just cannot refuse you. I'm sad after this, I'm in a mountain, you leave me with 
Let me know if you guys have made any really good meals while being home with the quarantine. If you tried out anything new, definitely send it my way. I'm always up for dinner ideas. And let me know if you guys like seeing dinner inspo here on YouTube. I also try to post like cook with me's over on Instagram. So if you guys aren't following me over there, I try to share daily updates of what we're up to, any DIYs that I'm doing, home decorating, and it's really fun to connect with you guys over there as well. I'm actually so close to hitting 10,000 over on Instagram, so I plan on doing a giveaway really soon here on YouTube for hitting 25,000. I can't even believe that's where we're at. You guys are so, so good to me and so amazing, and I love talking to you guys in the comments, and I love that this channel motivates you, and I just appreciate you guys being here so very much. So thank you, and a way to say thank you for that is by having a giveaway. So stay tuned. I am so excited for it. I saw the city passing by my window Was in the crowd but I felt so alone Looked at my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh but then you came Once dishes are done, I'm going to clean off my countertops. So I first like to disinfect them with my e-cloth. All you have to do is get the cloth wet, wring it out, and then you can clean your countertops off and it traps all the bacteria in there. I am obsessed with e-cloths, so definitely check them out. I ordered mine from Grove, but I plan on getting a bunch more because I am constantly using it and I find that it's in the wash a lot of times whenever I need it. So I need a backup, love e-cloth, and I know you guys will too. And I'm about to turn on my underhead lights on our cabinets. Oh my goodness, I am obsessed with these. If you recently seen my kitchen updates video, we just added the shiplap and the subway tile to our kitchen and I shared the process of that. So I'll have that video link below if you wanna check it out. But over on Instagram, I shared installing these lights underneath the cabinets and I have them linked to my Amazon store, but I love them and they are so bright. So it really helps at night whenever I just wanna go get a drink in the kitchen, I don't have to turn all of the lights on. All right, now that the kitchen is cleaned, I'm going to light a candle from Copper Candle Co. These are my newest candle obsession. They're soy candles, and I actually just ordered a dough board candle that I love. So if you guys need a Mother's Day gift idea, that would be a really good choice. I love Shiplap and Farmhouse, and I've also tried Clothesline, and honestly, all of the scents are so good. So definitely check them out. I'll try to have her shop linked down below. Okay, as you guys can see, we have paw prints because it's rained the last couple days and Colt trots into the laundry room to dry off and he gets paw prints everywhere. So I'm first going to use my Bona Mop to sweep the floor and I've got the dry cloth on there. So I order these from Amazon as well and they fit right on my Bona Mop and I'm able to sweep the floors really quickly and then I can just dispose of it. It's a really great option if you need something to sweep your floors daily, especially if you have a dog who sheds. So put your hand in mine, I will be there every day when you're sick.
Okay guys, I just got some packages in the mail and I thought I would share what I got. So I placed an order for Ulta and then I have a candle order. So I'm gonna scoot you guys closer and we'll unbox these together. So my favorite moisturizer that I've used for probably the last six months is Clinique Moisture Surge. So it's a 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. So I got another one of these and it's very thin and water-like. So that's what it looks like. Really excited to get that in. My skin has been needing it. And then I wanted to try out a new setting powder for under my eyes, the concealer. So I just got a cheap one. This is the Revlon Candid setting powder and it's an anti-pollution. So I thought I would try that out and then in the warmer months, I like to use a setting spray to set my makeup, and I like the Milani Make It Last. So I got another bottle of that. And then the foundation that I've been loving is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation, and this is in the shade Fiji. So it's light number five. It's more of a yellow tone. So hopefully this will match up, but we'll see. It looks like a, ooh, it might be a little light. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully it works, but I thought I would rather go lighter and just kind of bronze, use bronzer to kind of bronze it up instead of getting a darker one and taking a chance of it looking orange. So that is what I got from Ulta. Now, this candle is super exciting. You guys just seen me light my Copper Candle Co candle, my little one, but I wanted to get a big one in the shiplap scent. So you guys are gonna die, this is so pretty. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, so I got a dough board candle. How beautiful is that? Let me get a little bit closer. So, oh, I can already smell it. So pretty, and then once um, I burn it, I'll be able to reuse the bowl. How cute, I love it. Shiplap is my favorite scent from Copper Candle Co. And I will have them linked below. If I can get a coupon code, I'll get one for you guys. But this would make an awesome Mother's Day gift. Or if you wanna ask for a gift for yourself, this would be a good suggestion. I also love the farmhouse scent. If you want a really cozy, warm home feel, go with farmhouse. And then clothesline is the other one that I have and it smells really good too. So. I might go ahead and sit this out. I keep on thinking back on it. All right, back to cleaning. The fun is over, but I'm going to now vacuum our room and go ahead and vacuum like the rugs in the house as well in the main living areas. I find that even if I clean nothing else other than cleaning up and cleaning my floors, my home instantly feels more clean. So if you are on a pinch and you don't have a whole lot of time to clean everything, my top things are toilets and floors. <laughs> so a quick 10 minute, 30 minute cleanup does wonders. So if you can do nothing else, try that and you'll feel so much better. So. This vacuum, I get a lot of questions on. It's just a Shark Power Lift vacuum, and I love it. I've had it for a couple years now, and it works great on hardwood floors as well as carpet and rugs, and you can empty it out, and it's pretty hassle-free. So I really do love this one as well. And if you guys are interested in any of the products that I mentioned, you can always message me or comment down below or check out the links below in the description box. I usually have everything that are commonly asked questions down there. All 
All right, time to clean the floors. So I do have a steam mop that I use if I'm deep cleaning, but if I'm just in a pinch and I'm trying to get the floors quickly cleaned, I will use my Bona mop. And this is so easy to use. It's cordless, obviously. It's the same thing that I used earlier with the dry mops, except for I can put on this reusable pad and then it has a solution that I can just spray it and then wipe it. And this makes the floor so shiny and they smell really good. So I love the Bona Mop. You can get it anywhere pretty much and they're around $30 for the whole set. So it's really a steal. And as far as the solution goes, a lot of times I will find it at Home Goods or TJ Maxx at a discounted cost. Cause even guys and that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today i hope this brings you so much motivation to get up and clean your home and if you guys are cleaning your house today make sure to tag me over on instagram and show me what you're up to and if you guys want those daily to-do list definitely head over to instagram i post templates monday through friday for a little bit extra motivation. So thank you guys again for watching. I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.